Instead of a list of numbers that you have to read carefully, you can use icons in Excel to make the good and bad numbers stand out. But make sure you're not sending the wrong message with the icons. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. Here's the list of numbers and I want to add icons. So I'll select the cells with numbers, go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, and Icon Sets. There are four different types. Directional, which is arrows, shapes, which are mostly traffic light colors. Indicators, which are also traffic light colors. And Ratings, which are stars and shapes that you might see in a magazine for product reviews. So for this data, I'm not showing any increase or change from a previous month or year, so I don't want a directional arrow. But as I point to an icon set, I can see its name, and on the worksheet it gives a preview, so you can see how it's going to look. The shapes would be a good choice here, just a simple set of red, yellow, and green or you could use indicators. I'm going to go with the shape, which is three signs, because it not only has the colors, it has a shape. So if someone is having trouble distinguishing the colors, they can go by the shape. So I'll click that, and right away it's on the worksheet. So now we can quickly see that February has the highest quantity, and the red ones are the lowest. Here's another list of numbers for the six months, but instead of sales, we're looking at returns now. So people have sent the product back. March has the highest number of returns, but using my basic set of icons, March is showing a green, which means good, but it's really bad. So we can make a quick change to this icon set to show the correct information. I'm going to select all the cells, and on the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. And here it shows a list of all the rules for the current selection. Here's my icon set. I'll select that and Edit. And in here, I don't need to change the rule type at the top. I want to come to this side where I can click this button to reverse the icon order. The icons are showing over here, so I want the red at the top, green at the bottom. When I click, it makes that change. If I ever wanted to change back, I just come in and click again. So we'll have the red at the top, click OK, OK, and now bad is showing as red. Another quick change we can make to the icons after we use them is to either show the number and icon or just the icon. So for these cells, I'm going to select them, Home, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and go back to Edit the Rule. Instead of showing the numbers, I'm going to check this box to show the icon only. Icons only could be good for a list where you don't need people to read the exact number or you don't want them to know the exact number, just an indication of how things are going. Another way we can use icons only is by putting it in a separate cell beside the number. So here I've already tested that icon set and it looks good, but if I widen the column, the icons always stay at the left, and so there's a big gap between the numbers and the icons. So I'm going to create another column here, just linking to the number cell. So for these numbers, I'm going to apply the icon set, go in right away and change it to icon only. And now for these cells, I want to get rid of the icon. So I'll go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Clear Rules from Selected Cells. So now we've got the number, and if we widen its column or change it, it doesn't matter, that icon is always right beside it. So I like that for some lists.